Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Hello everyone, this is Sri Yunanana, first year MBA student at NMIMS Mumbai. My academics are 91% in my 10th, 90% in my 12th and 82% in my undergraduation. Before joining NMIMS, I worked as a supervisor for YV Chodhra and Co for 10 months and as systems engineer for TCS for 12 months. That's it from here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Good morning, sir. Good, Good morning, sir. Good morning. What's your name? Uh, my name is Sri Hero, sir. Okay. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, actually, there's a small story behind it, sir. Uh, uh, we'd like to know. Uh, right, sir. So uh, I come from a small village, and uh, uh, my father owned a motorcycle, a hero owned a motorcycle. And uh, so the first words that came out of my mouth uh, were uh, uh, hero. So everybody in my uh, society start. Everybody in the village started calling me that. And uh, later on, my mom just added a Sri in front of it. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Why you want to do MBA in agriculture in this internet era? My goal is to uh, use not only a lot of technology uh, in agriculture, but I also want to make agriculture a big source of income again. Uh, as I already mentioned, I come from a village, so uh, I understand the problems that farmers face and I've also seen a big drop in uh, the number of people choosing farming as an occupation. So uh, back, uh, I mean a couple of years back uh, when I was growing up in the village, I there were at least a hundred families who relied on agriculture as a source of income, but now there are hardly five. So I want to make agriculture uh, uh, sustainable once again and uh, to look at it in a holistic perspective, I think an MBA will uh, help me do that. Why do you think there is this drop? So one of the major reasons for this big drop is uh, due to higher aspirations that families have for their next generations. And also in uh, uh, villages, small villages, uh, there are no basic facilities for even children or, and there is not enough income for farmers either. So as a result of these reasons, there is a outflux not only from farming but from villages as well. Do you know about the Grameen Bank? Uh, yes sir, uh, these are banks which uh, give loans to people in the rural areas. Okay, and uh, do you know about uh, microfinancing? Microfinancing is uh, giving micro loans to entrepreneurs, uh, small entrepreneurs who do not have, who lack capital. Uh, a good example of microfinancing is Milap. Uh, do you think the microfinancing will help uh, farmers? It won't address the core issue, uh, which is uh, revenue generation. Uh, so I think uh, the government needs to make uh, farmers more uh, self-sustainable. The recent increase in the minimum support price for the Kharif crops is uh, uh, a move uh, with this objective in mind. So what is this pilot project of yours? My pilot project is around uh, groundnut plantation. So uh, the farmers of my district uh, grow paddy and sugarcane due to its compatibility with the soil. So I took inspiration from a farmer from a nearby district. Uh, I did the ground uh, research and I uh, began groundnut plantation uh, in my district. Uh, so in terms of ROI, it is much better than paddy. And the main motivation for my project was to bring about a change and to motivate the farmers in my district. Why work with TCS? So uh, mainly because I wanted to get corporate exposure and uh, I was not at all disappointed when I joined TCS. So I had to work in uh, Gandhinagar and uh, this was the first time that I was leaving my state and uh, I had to let go of all inhibitions and of course I got to learn a lot, there was a steep learning curve at TCS because of the uh, kind of work and the diversity uh, there so it was a very good experience for me. Okay, uh, do you listen to music? Uh, yes sir. Uh, who is your favourite singer? So since I am into pop, I like Kesha. Why do you think she did not win Grammy this year? Uh, sir, uh, I mean she sings very well but I think there are songs uh, apart from her songs which uh, have much better lyrics. So probably that's why. So if you are in our shoes, whom do you select? A person with knowledge or a person with a good communication skill? Sir, uh, that actually is a situational thing. I mean... No, there is no grey area. You have to choose. Sir, so if I have to choose, then I would choose someone who has good communication skills because uh, I would be able to interact with him better and uh, the, his credibility in my mind will also be higher. 
so I would choose someone with good communication skills. Okay, Sri, you may leave now. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.